Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Nerd Chronicles. This is your host, Proud Lame, certified beta male, sim giant, whatever it is, no game. The socially awkward nerd, Christian Paul, speaking at your service. This following episode um, contains graphic content that could be uncomfortable to some viewers, that could be like disheartening, not safe for work, that type of ordeal. It could offend some viewers in some way. Um, without any intent at all, it could be strong language, it could be basically strong graphic scenes, however it may be. Um, there will be an E that's actually uh, placed onto the top label up on the YouTube set, and they it can basically require either views for a minimum 13 up, or in some cases, depending on YouTube's policy, it could be 18 up or however it may be. Um, please take notice uh, before um, we get on with the presentation, all right? Few discretion advice. Now let's get back. Over the past several months, my family and I have gone through many changes. Some of you have speculated while others of you have reached out to offer support as we privately established this new normal for ourselves and our beautiful children. Uh oh. Hey, yo! We decided to go our separate ways and file for divorce. Making the decision to file was one of the hardest decisions of my life. But I found peace knowing that I'm missing the raising healthy children, starring healthy, and whole parents are still being accomplished. From falling in love as just teenagers to becoming spouses and now co-parents, I'm grateful for the years we spent together and wouldn't trade them for anything. I was blessed to have such an amazing person in my life and will forever be thankful for all she's meant to our family. We ask that if you pray to please pray for us as we navigate this grieving process. If not, please respect our privacy. Juicy! 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 Derek Jackson just announced his divorce from his wife Danae Jackson and if you remember it was a big old scandal because he's supposed to be this relationship guru and he had been sneaking around on his wife for the longest so today he put a post up on Instagram basically saying they're over and done that they have been separated for a few months now and the reason I think he finally decided to speak out is because he had been spotted around town with a new girl and people thought he was cheating on his wife yet again now i don't know how long he's been with this new girl but recently people noticed that she was being shady towards danaea and she kind of threw some shots at her so this is a screenshot of a video she put up on her tiktok and the caption says as a sagittarius i got five moods i don't care i don't care i don't give a f smh and watch this and then she put hashtag how you mad he choosing me and then she was playing sleazy flow song in the background and if you are on tiktok you know the song how you mad she choosing me i like what she do to me you already know how the song go now when it started getting attention if you look to the right you can see she changed the caption completely and this is how people responded nah now this is getting good lol when men say they don't like hoes they are lying never believe them smh i just like females like this she'll lose them the same way she got them Ooh we what he gonna cheat on you too none of them should be proud to have him but I think it's really disgusting how this woman is coming for Danaea when in reality this man put her through hell and back. She tried to do everything to make her marriage work and it just didn't work in the end. And I feel like this woman should be more understanding and just shut up. But I do want to know what you guys feel about this whole situation. How do you feel about his new girlfriend being shady towards Danaea? You guys leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget about FMP staffing. All the details will be in my description box below. But that's all I have for you guys and I will talk to you see? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another episode of the Nerd Chronicles, right? 
This is your host, Proud Lane, certified beta male semen jam, whatever is in the game. The social awkward nerd Christian Paul is in the building. And ladies and gentlemen, we do have some breaking news that actually just came out yesterday in regards to this whole crazy fiasco. And this is another great example of um, respect is currency, right? This is coming straight out of on um, the southeast of these um, Manosphere love posting streets, you know, the women paralyzing streets, you know. We have the alpha males literally doing their thing, right? We got that one aspect. And on the other aspect, you have the Sydney Endems, right? And then what a Sydney Endem basically is, is the strong, independent, don't need a man type of woman, right? The I don't need a man type of woman, which a lot of people up in the space would deem as modern women, they would deem it as that way. That's how they would label it. I would label it as basically something different. It would be the sitting them in them based on the type of mindset that they have. They would have like a type of arrogant mindset that they will portray and try to wag fingers at everyone saying, I don't need this. I don't need a man. I don't need any man to come by. I can do it all bad by myself. They project that type of ordeal um, that stems from like insecurity or trauma that they have that's unhealed in the past. So that's what we deem as the sitting them in them right and what we have here um ladies and gentlemen is a youtube content created by the name of Derek jackson that basically is a content creator that actually worships these types of women that like literally personalize them as if like keep saying the losers going keep their losers falling as if like they all tens and all stuff that i'm not saying that no woman should ever be appreciated at all but he takes the women's losing all the way up high and that all men need to literally try to bow down and kiss their feet. If they don't accept for whatever it is, they're losers and that type of ordeal. So let's see what this homeboy is basically saying. Please stop saying that. It's not true. Men are not intimidated by strong women. Like men are turned off by women that misuse their strength to fight against them instead of building with them. But it's weak men who can't handle strong women. And when I say strong, I'm not talking about the all my life I had to fight type of women. Women that are proud uh, to be able to weather struggle storms and tolerate mistreatment. And, you know, they don't ask for help, even though they deserve help and should be asking for help. I'm not talking about that type of strength. We ain't promoting that over here. I'm talking about the type of strength where a woman is expressive about her boundaries. She's certain in her identity. She's firm in her values like that type of strong. You know what I'm saying? Like she keeps her standards high. I proudly so don't care who call her what weak men can't handle that type of woman because a weak man can only love a woman that he can control and when a woman is good with or without you there's no controlling her so the real reason a lot of men these days don't date with the intention of courting is because they're still dating with the intention of coping like they're broken but instead of healing they just want to feel better because healing is hard it requires us to face those things that we've been through so we can address them and be better. But whenever you coping, you just run it. So as a woman, if you're trying to fix a broken man, it's never going to work because while you're trying to fix, he's just running from the broken parts of himself while using you as a treadmill, heavy on the treadmill, because even though he ain't getting nowhere, like he's not getting away from the things he needs to deal with. He's still stepping all over you in the process of trying to. <laughs> So I saw this meme that said, ladies, stop trying to hide your stomach. If a man really likes you, he's going to lift it up and get under it like a mechanic. And I want to know y'all thoughts down in the comments. But real quick, my thoughts are this. First off, I ain't the type to tell nobody what to do with their body. If you hiding your stomach or whatever else you got going on because it makes you feel better. Ladies, I say do you. But if it's for a man, I agree with the meme. Please stop trying to hide your stomach and anything else you might be doing to try to hide those quote unquote flaws. Whether it be a uh, waist training or, or nipping and tucking, whatever. Because it's not only not going to make a man like you, all it's going to do is make a man who doesn't like you pretend that he likes you long enough to get what it is that he wants from you. Those are the only ones that require you to be physically perfect. Because a man that likes you understands all of these physical things are going to change over time anyway. Time that he plans on investing into you. While a man who don't like you don't plan on being around long. So yeah, you got to be pretty much perfect. But a man who likes or better yet loves you ain't tripping on that gut, ain't tripping on them saggy titties or any other flaws you think you got. Do you see... There you have it. You heard it from um, the self-proclaimed relationship guru himself, Cookie Moisturizer. Cookie Moisturizer! Right. And based on what we 
a reading from the U.S. Sun, uh, basically um, written by Mr. Jacob Williford. You shout out to him, by the way. Um, well, from what we are reading, um, self-proclaimed relationship guru Derek Jackson confirmed his divorce in a social media post on Saturday, two years after he was hit with a teen scandal. Mm. So you out here literally being the pussy pedestalizer, okay? You know, um, basically trying to encourage a lot of these women and actually trying to empower them to extreme and fuel the delusions, you know. You can, you can be strong, you go by yourself, you know. Men got to actually just come off all the way up under your feet in order for them to actually marry you and da 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 da. But yet, he's not actually following to what he preaches towards women on a day to day basis while he's filming up in his car every single day. Um, and I know I'm filming up in my room as well, it's a little bit messy. But <clears throat> seeing these whole values, and you've been with your wife, you childhood sweethearts with, but you can't even resist the urge to deal with other women. So that's how conscious you are, man. But, you know, let's continue down this road of this article here. All right. All right. So, Mr. Jackson here, um, basically, who um, is now ex wife denied a basic divorce and they've been talking about their struggles um, since 2020. Ever since their scene um, scandal actually broke out around that time, and you can actually thank um, Miss Tasuke for that. Shout out to her and Rama Tasuke. She's the one that actually blew the whole thing up out of, out of, out of left field. Boom. Right? So, we know the divorce is ready to confirm. As he was some previously reported. The Nia simply filed for divorce from Derek on August 20th, 2020. After the team that case were made, um, it was obtained exclusive Georgia court documents at the time confirmed the filing. Yet the Nia dismissed the divorce request um, a few months later and the couple was out for a bit. Now the divorce has allegedly been finalized for good this time, and Derek basically confirmed it on his Instagram. Now we have all these posts that's there, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. Now still not confirmed thoroughly what specifically led to the divorce, but you could definitely know that he'd been with like this other woman up in Miami. We don't know if that's actually for sure. It could be. It's a speculation at the moment. Um, basically, he posted a video talking about a few months prior to telling what happens when a man takes advantage of a loyal man's love, but yet. You're doing the exact same thing about what she actually wanted these women to actually take note of, right? So, continuing, whether or not this may have been a reference to prior events in his personal life, the original divorce filing in 2020 by the Nia came soon after the two women had come forward to claim that they had an affair with Derek. Candace and Mills claimed to Tasha K that he planned a Miami getaway with her in July 2020 and that Derek brought her his in the Nia's home in Atlanta. Oh my God, wrecking the family. Second mistress also explained the situation to Tasha K, in which she had a six month affair with Darius um, around three years ago, August 2019. At the time, Derek had allegedly reached out via Instagram. And the second mistress said that the two met up, claiming he whipped his dick out while in Atlanta. And they got the confession video doing the whole stuff. We don't know if it's progress. We already saw about that whole ordeal. And they have the quotes that's down below. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. And now you get the third mistress, which was a 33-year-old surgeon named Nikki, also came forward in March of 2021. That's literally over a year ago. Um, she claimed that she had been in a relationship with Derek, and she said she met Derek on October 29th, 2020, when visiting Atlanta Mall, where he allegedly posted her and introduced her as Zeke. Hmm. You see? Terms of the poor divorce are also yet to be revealed. Although the court documents from the original request in 2020 from the Nia has specific custody and child support details for the two children out. For the documents obtained by the U.S. Sun, the Nia had requested that they share joint legal custody of the minor children that she have all filed the decision making authority. The child support was also to be consistent with the Georgia Child Support Guidelines. See also the man that lumped some alimony from Derek. Additionally, it is unconfirmed if the divorce violence by Derek and his Instagram post from the 7th mm -hmm. was a mutual decision. Based on past content from the couple, more information may be revealed through collective or separate videos. Hey man. Self-proclaimed pussy pedestalizer right there. The self-proclaimed sip of the year. Arguably. But I'm going to tell you this. It's funny when you actually uh, practice all the pussy pestalizing and value way above and beyond and 
you being the queen and yeah you actually practice complete opposite of what you're doing what you're up in these videos um mr derek and i want to actually try to relate something to the general public Okay, and this is something that I've literally learned the hard way over the past year while actually digging into the Red Pill content. Content creators did ex eventually expose themselves over time. Even myself, over the course of this whole YouTube ordeal, I want to try and let you know now is to be extremely careful on who you listen to. Be very thorough on taking to know somebody and practice due diligence on that content to content creator to see who he or she thoroughly is right is he what he practices it, 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 it does that but does that content creator practice what he preaches basically right this is like with the fresh and fit situation they claim they're like self-proclaimed game gurus right but yet they're actual simps in real life yeah you see has stuff like a bunch of followers still hold them down regardless and sadly if they still stick with the illusion if a lot of women still stick with this illusion it's going to be the same results apply which i urge you guys to please don't do it as you saw in the clips, Derek Jackson has been clearly disrespecting women. The way it's between y'all, he's been lying to women. He's been actually having affairs with women, being like he not only disrespecting his wife, not only disrespecting his children, but also disrespecting his fan base, disrespecting his viewers as well. Mainly his female viewers, mainly his black female viewers as well. Right? This gentleman right here. Is a big sole reason why you've seen so many synonyms and them's literally elevate through the past traumas, okay? Through to them being hurt, due to them being manipulated, due to them being fucked over, right? Them being mistreated, them being disrespected. It's because of dudes that you see up in the clip right there, okay? That gentleman right there that claimed he the most loyal, self proclaimed, but behind the scenes, he's complete opposite. That gentleman right there. Is one of the main reasons why it seemed like more of the synonym in them come to form. And it's all through the past traumas. And it's a shame. I don't want to try and dig too deep into like much into a relationship aspect and who lean, who following, like what y'all do is your personal business. But all I'm gonna say in closing is please, please, please. Okay? Be very careful. Practice thorough due diligence on the content creators that you listen to watch. Just like me, because I gotta be doing the same thing. I should try to study these guys, see who they really are about. So that you'll be able to have proper discernment, you'll be able to have a, like a thorough, proper judgment and verify who they really are based on their actions, not in their words. And I'm just going to leave it at that. So, Chris and Paul from the Nerd Chronicles is signing out. Y'all like, y'all comment, y'all subscribe, share the video, click on the notification bell for any further ordeals that actually pop out of nowhere. But again, this is breaking news. Derek Jackson is divorced. His wife, um, Denia here, they've been divorced officially. And I tell you, man. Juicy, juicy, juicy. juicy. Good night.